Hello guys, girls and girls. Sorry, actually, I just started to record literally about five seconds after from when the list ended and the clip didn't record. Um, so basically, Emily just mentioned that there's a monster. I think I had a choice to ask if you're okay or to say, wait, a monster. So I said, wait, a monster, and we'll see what happens now. Sorry, I missed a wee bit of the footage. After me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. Confused. M. Tell us exactly what happened. I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh my it. god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. <sighs> what about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Oh, yeah, he found the gun in the sanatorium. Wait, this is the guy that was in the mines. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I'm not much longer to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, Is this going to be... Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Uh, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> Somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. 
I'm gonna go get him. You can't go no. out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. Yes. I, I don't need your help. You do. You're going alone. It's suicide. All right. The rest of you. Basement. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. Mm -hmm. So that finally happened. They finally showed there. Crush for each other. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. I, what's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Right, status update. I'm just gonna check and see what's going on in Butterfly Effect. Point blank, something new there. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. So. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? Fire. They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And I can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Hmm. It's gross. So you need to burn them, then shoot them. It's like the opposite of well, what, what was what that game called? Like? Uh, Alone I mean, in the Dark. Are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? No. Here, some pattern, like any animal or human. What? You mean like how? You've got schedules. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> Even though I don't yeah. fully trust this guy, I feel tips. safer. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something. Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. Wow, well, they're moving to hard on It's just like... So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. You're gonna have to. Can you stop walking sex now? It's worried me. No, there seems to be an fresh tail of blood. If these things Wendigos are or, or were human do they do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they never change certain things. Is it really right to kill them? <laughs> they surrender human rights and they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Damn it. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips his skin. Off of your entire body, piece by piece. And he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. I think we're probably too late. 
I do want to go and check back there for clues. Why is he walking zigzag? It's a controller is straight. <laughs> Pocket brother. So that's the gate, the fortune one we've seen. Oh my god, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. That thing was like right behind me. Go, 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 go! Oh god, that's dead. Fine. Oh well. At least it's got something to Oh wait, that was Josh. I think. so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. Use all the doors. Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the fifties, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Right, we're going to pause it there so I can continue this soon because we only have uh, 30 seconds left of this clip. Thank you for watching. Um, the next part will be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, this game is getting pretty scary, especially with these windigos. It's pretty damn scary, but I'll see you in the next part. So, bye.